Welcome to this afternoon session where we're looking at pedagogical content knowledge for teaching mathematics presented by Michael Opwoods. But let us first look at our sessions, the objectives of the sessions. The first one is define pedagogical content knowledge, which is PCK in short. Explain the PCK for the content and the curriculum and then explain the PCK for content and the teacher and then explain the PCK for content and the student and finally apply PCK to teach mathematics especially if you are given a topic. PCK, pedagogical content knowledge, refers to understanding or mastering the subject matter if it's mathematics, if it's English if it is social studies, name the subjects. For now, we have got PCK in three folds. The first PCK is called Content Knowledge for Teaching PCK. Here, I would like us to look at the words like knowledge. What do we mean by this? Knowledge merely means practice used by the teacher, practices used by the teacher to teach mathematics, for example. It also means entailed by the work of the teaching. It can refer to domains, can refer to cognitive domain, psychomotor, and affective. It can mean skills, habits, and mind, and work. When we say work, what does it mean for the teacher of mathematics? The activities he or she does when teaching the mathematics. The engagement and the responsibilities. It also means teaching the content both inside and outside the classroom. We have PCK in the form of content and the students. What is it that the teacher should be familiar with the students? First, that teacher or this teacher should be familiar with awareness of the errors students make as they are doing the topic. How do students experience with the topic being taught by the teacher? It's important for the teacher to understand a given topic he or she is teaching. What confuses the learners should be the concern of the teacher. What difficulties do students typically have? It's very important for the teacher to identify those difficulties. Finally, it's important for the teacher to interpret the answers students give, be it correct, be it wrong. We need to confirm. We have got knowledge of the content and the curriculum, KCC. It's important for the teacher to master the curriculum very well. Why? Knowing the grade level, students are typically taught a given topic. It's very important for the teacher. Knowing the relationship between the topics in the curriculum, for example, integers and then algebra. What comes first? You should teach integers first and then algebra. Next. Selecting instructional materials suitable for teaching a given topic is very important for the teacher as a knowledge of the curriculum. Topics with which students would be familiar with should be taught first in the curriculum. We have got PCK content knowledge for the teaching. And this means that on the side of the teacher now, using the suitable representations or instructional materials to teach the meaning of a given topic. Another important thing for the teacher is to sequence problems to use in a given topic, as well as sequencing topics from the simplest, from to the simpler, and then the, and then the simple. And then selecting appropriate methods or strategies for the whole class during discussion or presentation, which should be done orderly. Dear viewers, Thank you very much. That's the end of our presentation.